Today I'm going to demonstrate all eight chi absorption stances. I'm going to just describe the names of each position and a little bit of indication as to how the weight should be placed in each of the postures. The first posture, weight is in between. The heels are a little bit out, so the toes are slightly in. And I bring the arms just up as if I'm holding a sphere, holding a chi sphere. My elbows are relaxed, fingers are open. Next, stepping into the corner, eastern corner, and really spiraling my arms out. Palm is away from my forehead and toward my sacrum in the back. My weight is mostly forward, sort of twisting, looking back. So drag and gaze is back. I spiral. Step into the other corner, so reversing the pose. forward, stepping back to ride tiger to the west. The other side. So weight is 60, 40. Holding up the sky. Touching the earth, so relaxing the lower back, going down, and actually touching the earth, letting my head relax. Rolling up. Toes are a little bit out to the outside. Elbows bent, wrists flexed, thumb and index finger touching, and heels slightly raised. Dialectic stance, weight is 90% back, toe touching, arm extended with just the toe touching, and then this arm slightly back, so both are rounded. Other side. And stepping back to white crane. So I can lift my leg off if I can. If not, I can keep the toe on the ground. But I want this sort of S-shaped curve of the leg going back into the hip. Arms are related to each other. One little bit up, the other one down like a bird, like wings. We'll do the more advanced posture with the palm overhead, palm up to 
towards the ceiling, and then the back of the palm underneath the knee. And the other side. So again, stepping back, arms up. and then taking the more advanced posture. Return to just the standing posture. So these are the eight chi absorption stances. And I suggest you practice them on your own. And you take them with eight breaths each. That's the time. See you next week.